YouTube, YouTube, what's up everybody? RC's Finest back at you with another video. It's been a minute, but we're still back, y'all. We're still doing it. Don't worry. Uh, I want to thank all the new subscribers that's been subscribing, all the previous subscribers that have subscribed. Thank you for the positive feedback. Thank you for the negative feedback. It's all appreciated. Thank you to my lovely wife that allows me to do what I love to do. Um, hope everyone's having a blessed day today. Hope everyone's family's safe, kids are safe, everyone's doing well in good spirits. My day has been blessed. My day has been good. Just thought I'd shoot a video on another car I did. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that notifications bell so you will be notified on the next video. Um, yeah, let's go forward with this one. Won't be too long with you. Um, like I always tell you, videos aren't edited, aren't scripted, aren't just a raw video. That's how I like to do them. One take in, one take out. Show you what I did. Name off some of the parts I use. Some of the people that had an influence in the build. And get you on out of here. Get you on your day, on your way. All right. So what we did to this? This is a Team Associated RC8 B3. Uh, I've done a similar one of these before, but I just I like this platform, y'all. This is a solid buggy. Everything's tight. There's no play in anything. It's a, it was a nice build to do. It was a little bit different. If you peruse my channel, you'll see the other one I did. It's a little different. Um, that one did well on the channel, so I thought I'd get another one, a different type, and do another build on it. So with that said and done, we're going to give you all a rundown and uh, show you what I did to it. All right, so we're going to start with the outside and work our way in as usual. This one here, we went with the Jetco Buster tires, belted tires. Really nice tires. Got a nice firmness to them. I think they're going to do good. Nice firmness, and they're really sticky. So I thought I'd get these and try these out. I haven't tried these before. Um, I went with a uh, D-Hawk kit on this one um all the blue aluminum it was a d-hawk kit what i did to this is i couldn't find no um aluminum front bearing carriers so i used armor front bearing carriers for this made those fit uh, i found the ones for the rear which was no problem but i couldn't find none for the front nobody makes them so i said okay time to go to work did my research um so let's try these. I bought a pair. Fit perfect, y'all. Fit perfect. So if you have one of these and you want to use front Arma bearing carriers, there you go. Fit like a glove. Perfect. Uh, what I did to this is I put limiters in the shocks. So it's only going to drop down so far. You see it has that nice rake to it. Um, front and back limiters. Uh, 80 weight in the shocks, all the shocks, shim some stuff, a couple little things in the, uh, arms that I had to shim using the, uh, the armor bearing carriers, which turned out to be really nice, uh, in the back, as you see, put limiters in the back, um, aluminum wing mount for this one. Uh, aluminum uh, uh, wing brace on here. So y'all see that? Just adjusted some of the links and stuff like that. So everything went really well. So uh, we're going to pop the top, show y'all what I did to the inside, and we'll get you on your way. Thanks to everybody for tuning into the channel, sticking with me, subscribing. And just checking out what I do. My passion is I'd like to build cars, and that's what I do. So we just used the stock body. Just painted it under the bottom black. Cleared it. And then uh, it's a uh, metallic blue with purple in it. 
And so I did that. Okay, so we'll put that over here. Don't mind all this, y'all. This is just stuff that's getting ready to be built. Customer's car, all kinds of stuff for next couple builds coming in. So just excuse me for that. Got a mess in the living room, which going to the shop. But this part of what's coming in that's going to be headed to the shop. So we'll start from the front, work our way back. I already told you about the shocks and everything. So we did a D-Hawk uh, blue aluminum front uh, uh, plate. Um, blue aluminum uh, steering rack, complete steering rack. Uh, aluminum chassis brace for this. Using the Corrali Servo, which I know I use those on my last few builds. Uh, put an aluminum servo arm on there. Just put a riser to make everything symmetrical, evened out a little bit. Okay. Um, aluminum top diff cover. Uh, aluminum diff mounts. Uh, thanks to my man Bill at King Hobby for the spool. Running his spool in here, as y'all see right there. Uh, big shout out to my Adam, my man uh, Adam at Atomic Cat Packs, who helps me with all the cat packs and receiver packs. Awesome job, my friend. Thank you for your continuous support all the time. Uh, starting on this side, running a um, uh, Max 6 ESC in this one, as y'all see there. Max 6 EAC with a uh, 40 millimeter high speed fan on it. Okay, in the rear, we're doing a uh, rear uh, chassis brace, a rear um, body mount. I told you all about the uh, wing mount. Um, once again, 80 weight in the shocks, limiters in the shocks, titanium shock shafts, front and back. Uh, we're running um, 17 millimeter wheel hex extensions in here. Wind it up a little bit for more stability. Uh, NHS high speed fan. Running a re, um, stock receiver box. Just uh, what I did was I uh, cut it up a little bit and used the same box and mounted it back here. Made a special mount for it for the back. As y'all see there. So that's what we did to that. Uh, RC8 uh, battery box, as you see, running a 4292 2200 KB motor. RC Juice. Um, that's what we run in there from RC Juice. Uh, big shout out to my man Saga Customs for the motor mount once again. Perfect, fits perfect. Big shout out to Saga Customs for the gear. Awesome gear. If y'all want some good gears, man, check out Saga Customs, man. He got some good gears. Haven't had a problem with none of those gears. Uh, carbon fiber um, uh, servo mount, uh, top plate. Um, D Hawk uh, servo mount, um, servo mount uh, risers in there okay so that's what we did running the xt90s um receiver pack adam's cap packs running a blue wire loom on this one and a little bit of orange because of the the way the motor is has a uh, blue yellow and orange wires so i thought i'd incorporate a little bit of colors with that since the color was already blue um purple uh 17 millimeter hex nuts on here yeah, yeah, came out good, really nice. Satisfied with the build. Uh, everything runs really good. It's nice and tight. Everything's tight. That's why I like these builds on these type of cars. These, you know, team associated. You know, they they do some good cars, man, and they really nice. They got really really tolerances are really tight, and that's what I like. I don't have to do a lot of shimming and stuff like I do on some of the other cars, Armas and you know Corrali and. You know all the other cars you got to do a little bit of shimmy to get everything tight and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a critic on that that's what i like to do i like to get these things tight to where the arms don't move look at that it's tight nothing's moving you know everything's nice and tight so uh yeah y'all this one here i didn't do anything to the bottom of it 
I just left the bottom of the plain, plain chassis as I did the build. Y'all know these come in a kit, so this is a kit build, another kit build. You know, I like doing uh, rollers and kits. I like to just break them down and do them, and uh, just do them all myself, do everything myself. Um, that way I can uh, control my own, um, uh, my own in-house, uh, you know, all the technical stuff I can, I can do myself. You know, I'm not uh, depending on a company to do it. Because um, I like it, and I like everything nice and tight. So that's what we did, y'all, to this. Came out really nice. Want to thank RC Juice for the parts. Adam at Atomic Cap Pack, Saga Customs. Um, uh, Ted over at uh, Jenny's RC for the parts. Continuous support from them. SMCs for the batteries. Um, you know, just everyone who had a hand in this build, um, everything came out nice. Everything came out really nice, y'all. I'm really satisfied with the build. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the comments I'm getting. And, uh, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, y'all. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep building. This is what I like to do, you know. A lot of stress around the house. I mean, uh, not the house, but around the work. And this is my stress reliever. Um, you know, work work is stressful. You know, medical field is stressful. Uh-oh, messed that up. So I can't put them in, but I'll get them in later. But yeah, that's what we did, y'all. Team Associated RC8B.2. Came out really nice. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the continuous support. Thank you for all the subscribers, new and old subscribers. And uh, RC's Finest back out with another video. And we out, yo. That's it. Peace.